Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to teach you how to play all of you on acoustic guitar. Here we go. I'm going to be playing this song in standard tuning, which means everything's tuned like normal. Like this string is E, this string's A, this string's D, here's your G string, <laughs> grow up. Here's your B string, and E, the high E. I'm going to be referring to the strings by their names, just so you know. Also, it'll be good practice for the future. This song uses finger picking. I use these three fingers, my thumb, my pointer finger, and my middle finger. The whole time, you're mainly just picking like this. Make sure your guitar is tuned first. There's pretty much only three parts that you need to know to this song. Uh, the main riff. The chorus, I love you, and the bridge, which is a little bit more complicated, but not really complicated at all. You know what I'm saying? The bridge is the part that goes, you, you, you want to tell me, but I, 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 I don't know how to... Here's how you play the main riff. The first chord, you only need one finger, your pointer finger, and you put your pointer finger on the first fret on the G string. <laughs> Guys, seriously, grow up. On the G string, like this. And you're gonna be playing with your thumb, the low E, open. And then with these two fingers, you play the G string and the B string together. So you go. Whoa! Isn't that easy? Alright, it gets harder. All the chords being played are just pretty much octaves. Which is like a power chord, like only you only play the first one and then the other one, whatever it's called. It's like the same note, you know? Then you want to put your pointer finger on the fourth fret on the A string, right here. And you want to put your pinky, I, I use my pinky, and you put it on the sixth fret on the G string, right here. So it's gonna be like this. An octave, that's an octave right there. That's like a C sharp power chord, an octave pretty much. Here's a power chord, here's an octave. The finger picking is the same as before, only it's on this string now, but still on the G string and the B string. You're gonna be playing the B open still. You're playing this open the whole time. So it's like, you go. And then you just slide it down, keep this position, and you slide it down two frets to the B. This is B right here. That's no, that note is B. Like A, B, get it? Now you know what a B is. And you play the same thing, but at the end there's like a little swoop. So it's like. Oh, see what I did there? It wasn't that cool. For my pinky, I just slid it up two frets back to like where it was on the previous chord. And you want to stop it, like right there, like. And then when you go back to play it again, you, you hold up on the first note, like kind of listen to it in your head, and you start with that. So it'll go like this, like. See? If that's too difficult for you, you can just play it like, like this. Sometimes I play it like that when I'm feeling like, you know, lazy. That's pretty much the main riff. I'm gonna play it for you slowly one time. Here we go. Huh? Can't get the words out of my mouth. That little feeling everyone talks about. Here's how you play the chorus. The first one's A, and you're gonna play the A string. A, open. Put your middle finger on the second fret on the G string, <clears throat> and then you put then you put this finger right here on the second fret on the B string. So it'll look like this. Yeah. Then for the next chord, put your pointer finger on the second fret on the A string, and then I'm gonna use my pinky and this finger again and I'm gonna put this finger this finger 
right here. What is this called? Okay, I don't know what this is called. I'm gonna call this the index. This has to be the index finger. Pointer, middle, index, right? So I'm, I'm gonna say ring finger. So you're gonna put your pointer finger on the second fret on the A string. A, B, C, B, playing a B chord here. Put your ring finger on the fourth fret on the G string. And then put your pinky right below that on the fourth fret on the B string. So you got this right here. And you strum it the same as the other chord, so. And then for the next chord, slide it up two frets. But for, for your pinky, see so your pinky's right here. Instead, you're gonna take that off and put your middle finger on the fifth fret. So you're gonna have your pointer on the fourth fret on the A, your ring finger on the sixth fret on the G, and your middle finger below it, down one fret onto the fifth fret, which is on the B string. So it'd be like. And then the last chord is just E. Well, the first chord in the main riff. And when you put those together, it sounds like. Last part of the chorus, the part that goes. All I can say is all of you. Goes A, E, B, C sharp, B, the main riff. Get you know what I'm yeah. Here's the bridge. It's a bit more trickier. You, you, you wanna tell me, but I, 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 I don't know how to say it. You wanna put your middle finger on the second fret on the E string, and then your ring finger on the second fret on the G string. <clears throat> okay, and then you play it like this. For the next chord, you're gonna wanna just play the string right below it, the A string, open, but still playing um, this string. Like that. And then for this part, you wanna go up to the C sharp, how we played in the chorus, the, and then the B. Only you wanna pluck it like this. You wanna go. And then it goes to the part that's like, I'll let it out. What's been on my mind? Those two words need an I love. If you're lazy, you can just play the chords. The chords are pretty simple. It's just a E chord, B, but because you're playing the B right here, this is a B note, don't play this. Try to just play, try to like mute it by kind of touching it a little bit, but not, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, so, B chord, then move, then move that position up two frets, C sharp, then make it, then move it down like this, woo, till your fingers, these two are on the second fret, you're playing an A, A chord, and back to B. So that'll go. Here's the other way to play it. It's more like finger picking though. Do the E position, like in the main riff. Only you want to pluck like this. All I'm doing is plucking the E open string with my thumb. Then <clears throat> this finger. But the one note that's different is I'm playing this string open. The E. So I'm going. Then go to a B chord, like B octave, you know? I'm gonna put my, to show you guys again, put your pointer finger on the second fret A string. A, B. And then put your pinky, and then put your pinky on the fourth fret on the G string. And go. And then do the same thing. Move it up two frets. 
play A, which is A, <coughs> A string open, A, finger on the second fret G string, that's A, like an A octave, with this, then go to B again. I kind of messed up at the end, but that's what, yeah. And those are the three parts you need to know to play this song. So it goes main riff, chorus, main riff, chorus. I think the main riff a little bit. Then the bridge, then the chorus, then the main riff. You got all that? Listen to the song a few times and play along, and, and I guarantee you'll get it with a little bit of practice. With more and more practice, without even knowing, you'll naturally get quicker and better and really good. Thank you for watching. If you, uh, if you used my tutorial and learned the song, feel free to put a video response because I'd love to see you guys actually play it. Because then it'll make me feel like a good teacher. All of you. All of you.